Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello everyone, welcome to the Coordinator's channel for Change Better with me, Wiri Saputra. And now I'm trying to use English in my channel because uh, I'm not just uh, share to Indonesian people, but also I'm trying to share to all over the world uh, about the website with other people. Okay, now I'm trying to design a website. This is a part of a portfolio series uh, number five. And I'm trying using Figma to design website. So when you are trying to design a website, you can plan it in Figma. And uh, it's very easy to use for another people and for the very basic people. And it's really, really easy if you follow this step by step. Okay, now I'm trying to use frame here. And I will try to choose the MacBook Pro uh, template, or you can use desktop here. Okay. Now we are trying to create a layout first, layout grid. So you can choose this. And I'm trying to use to choose the columns here and choosing the 12 layout. Why 12 layout? Why 12 columns? Because uh, it can give some variance with uh, columns here if you are using the 12 columns. Uh, I'm trying to research that. And if you are choosing uh, 16, 16 divided by 2, 16 divided by 4, and the result, the more variance uh, are in 12 columns. Okay. Now, let's start to design a website or uh, let's make a website using these uh, columns uh, grids. Okay, now I'm trying to use this at centers. Okay, for the width, I try to calculate it. It's uh, 80s. Okay. After that, I'm trying to make a logo here. So for the logo, if you are very, very newbie in a website, you can use a text logo. It give more clears to the users what you mean about your brand, about your products. And now I'm trying to use this, okay? Coco website or Coco design here. Okay, now I'm trying to create a bold sections, okay? You can use a shortcut using K and then you can resize it, scale it. And there are some rules that if you have a big text, you have to uh, resizing the letter spacing here to make it more, more nice design. Okay, now I'm trying to create a menu. So you can choose this. I will make home and about page, then contact. So portfolios. It's really easy and I'm trying to tidy it up using this. Okay, tidy up. And now I'm trying to uh, make this placing on this side. Okay. Now we are using K here, trying to resize that. Uh, I'm trying to resize it like this. Okay. Now you see, and I'm trying to use V. Then set it to light versions. And for the active state, I will use this to set it for the phone way to bold. To make it clear that the home page is active for everyone. Okay. Now I'm trying to uh, create a hero sections here. I will try to use a uh, Canva. If you don't have Canva account, I have a Canva uh, team account. So there's a three salts uh, that you can buy uh, cheaper. If you uh, buy from the Canva, maybe you have a, an expensive uh, price for the years. And I have a team account here uh, and available for three slots. You can buy from me. Okay. For one years. Okay, now I'm trying to uh, 
uh, use a banners here, banners websites. So I'm trying to set banner, typing banner here. And there are some template that we can use for the uh, website. Okay, this is some banners that we can use for the website. Okay. I want topic is website, but I don't get it. So let's see. Okay, I will use hmm. Okay, there's so uh, many design here and okay i will try to use this for this website and okay for design day and for this uh, online web webinar then this is for uh, the date 8 June 2023 then we're trying to place here and this is for the time PM okay most of cool designers are here okay now we are trying to resize that to here and we set it uh, shares in english this is will be shares and downloads okay i'm trying to choose the size in a small size like this and using this gpg okay Now I'm trying to copy that to the Figma here. You see? Now I'm trying to resize that. Wow, it's look cool. And I'm trying to use the color for the logo from here. It's like cool color. And also for the menu, I'm trying to use the dark color here. So I'm not using the components. Why? Because uh, this is just a simple design and you can use rapid prototyping using uh, HTML and CSS to make this website because it's very, very easy. Uh, the components and also the complete design maybe you can uh, make on Figma for the big company website you know that uh, needs a design system that needs uh, more uh, components uh, details like uh, this like letter spacing details like a uh, font weight and it's not needed when you are trying to create a simple website uh, on Figma so we can skip that process uh, to make this uh, more cool and more fast in development Okay, now I'm uh, done with this uh, header section and also hero section here. Now we are trying to create uh, another section at the bottom. Okay, now in this part, I am trying to make a card here. Okay, you can use tags for uh, the title. Features Disney, okay. Good vibes. There's experience setting experience. Professionals, okay. Now I will try to use the four columns here, so it's really uh, 
important because the key of the professional design and professional look is the consistency. Okay, now I'm trying to set it, uh, trying to tidy it up. Okay, I will use these colors. Okay. How about this? Okay, what do you think? Okay, I'm trying to use this uh, text. And also for setting experience, I will try to choose this. Okay. Now for the line head, I'm trying to modify that to make it more closer like this. And professionals, designers here. Designers. And I'm trying to use the four columns here for the designers using these colors. Okay. Now we are trying to uh, set up the content here. Okay. I need ChatGPT, but uh, I don't show uh, in my screen here. So for the prompt, uh, you can use a good five. Uh, a hundred characters for uh, feature sections so you can use the prompt like this and okay okay I will use this using uh, 16. Okay. Now I'm trying to set more words. To make it more content. Okay, now I'm trying to copy and paste here. Okay, set it uh, the line height to 180% like this. And then trying to use the light or maybe a regular for the text. Okay, now uh, we are trying to use uh, from this, maybe, okay, just like we, okay, now we're trying to make a content also for the sharing experience in professional designers. Make it for sharing experience. Part K. Trying to copy and paste here. And also professional designer. Okay, now we have done with the sections here. If you are trying to uh, create more consistency for the good five, I'm trying to give and door here. So now we are set it to the light blue like this. Okay, at this time, I'm trying to tidy it up. After that, trying to uh, set it the space spacer here okay that's done now uh, if you want to try to create some icon here you can use that but I don't think that I will use icon for uh, this side I'll try to use 
a pictures okay i'm trying to use it from uh, you can take it from canva or maybe an ansless and i will try to use some square here okay let's use some square here for the good five and also sharing experience okay so let's find good five okay now we have this okay then we can use maybe a blue or okay let's find some another photo here for a good five okay maybe this i'm trying to place these photos and i'm actually wants to uh set it like this okay and try to use this okay now we use as max okay so for the good five looks like this and we are trying to next to the next step for the setting experience okay setting experience Okay, now setting experience, we'll try to uh, find some uh, picture here. Okay. Trying to find it out, but okay, maybe it is. Copy image address. Okay. Okay, now I'm trying to place it like this and use as max. Okay, then I'm trying to use this setting experience professionals, experience professional. Okay, let's find the professional ones that. Uh, make some pictures about professional. Okay, maybe this. Uh, I'm trying to uh, place for the tie here. Yes, as max. Now we set it up. Okay. I'm trying to make it more blue here, so uh, I'll try to set the rectangle. Okay, and fill to like this. To so that, uh, I'm trying to set it as blue. So. It will look like this. Nice. Okay. Now trying to uh, copy that on the other's image. Okay. I'm done with pictures. And you can set it to round it if you want to. But I will uh, leave it like this. And then I'm trying to create another section here. So let's create another section. So I'm trying to give it more space here. And trying to give for the portfolio. Our portfolio here. 
Okay. Now we set it for uh, the image design. Okay. I'm trying to copy the image. Uh, then placing it to our content. I will try to use this image like this. Okay, and trying to give him more uh, design here. Okay, now just place another designs, another photo here to make it more good looking okay so copy image for this and you see that it's really really easy to make the design like this just placing or, uh, so I'm trying to use this text to make it more uh, okay like this this is our goal portfolio Just implement that to your web company. Okay. Like this. Okay. If you think that this is uh, too big for the portfolio, you can uh, resize that to make it more uh, proper to the work content like this okay i need more line here so i'm trying to make a line and we'll place it in the middle of these tags and using the two characters of colors here Okay, this is for the dark blue and this is for the light blue. Okay, now I'm done. So I'm trying to make this like, okay. After that, I'm trying to use these colors to make it more cool. Okay, now we got our portfolio sections here. Trying to place it the uh, same. Okay, like this. It's a cool design. And for uh, the contact, I think I just use a map for the contact sections. So this is the contact section. We are trying to create these details also contact us feel free to reach our team talk and ask whatever you want okay now we are trying to create contact uh, sections i will be using the google maps here okay now i will use this place to Make it more interesting. Okay. 
start uh, save as for Windows users and I'm trying to use this copy that and then pressing to the and then here okay now uh, we are trying to create some rectangle here or you can modify the colors but I will try to use this set it to uh, linears I will try to using the blue sections here okay this is for the light blue okay now you see that it's really really nice design okay you have the cool part here and also uh, I'm trying to create these pictures saturations so like this okay now it's cool so for the exposures I will try to make like this okay now it's very very cool designs uh, it's like it's have a blue design here okay for the footer now I'm trying to use this uh, I will use the rectangle here so we set it on the blue like this and I need the cocoa design here or maybe this is a blue design not a cocoa design here. okay now I'm trying to use alt placing it below set it bring to front and set it to white like this okay now we need this text format set it to bring to front and using you can use the light blue here and I'll try to use from the pictures like this okay now blue design is a opportunities studio that will make your web design web company design more beautiful and useful okay i don't know uh, what really uh, about the text here but this is like a, an example for you and also i need a copyright here I need a copy symbol here, copy symbol, copyright symbol. Okay, now we are trying to create this copyright symbol. I'm trying to copy that. Where is it? Okay, this. I'm trying to copy that and using uh, this. 2023 uh, all right reserve okay and now it has a good looking for a simple company here okay I'm trying to uh, resize that and this is for uh, the social network 
plus I prefer to use text uh, this to make it more simple and there are no icon here Facebook Instagram Twitter then uh, TikTok maybe and also YouTube okay try to resize that okay and this is for Instagram uh, pictures here our stories okay I will try to use the rectangle here okay set it to round it so 80 80 here then trying to use one column here okay trying to select that okay so we see this okay now trying to resize the future okay like this okay i'm trying to tidy it up tidy up okay now we set the pictures for this copy image try to use the different uh, pictures to make it more colorful more delightful and also more cool for your design because uh, the same design it will give redundancy and also repetitions uh, pictures that we want okay Okay, I have a very like these pictures. And now we are trying to use another pictures here. Also another pictures here. Okay. This is the last one. And now we are done. Okay, we are done with the design. So you see that this is a cool designs that you can follow using Figma. It's really, really simple to follow and no needs to create a components, no needs to create so many guides here because uh, it's just a cool design here. Now you see it's really really nice for your portfolio project okay now how to convert that to the html css we'll try to find out on the next journey of portfolio series six okay see you next time and bye bye don't forget to subscribe to this channel yeah see ya